board's headquarters structure, there's also an Office of Appeals Council. That consists of 20, 30, 40 lawyers, depending upon the year and the staffing, whose responsibility it is to review case files that come to them from the regional offices where the cases are actually adjudicated by judges. The lawyers in the Office of Appeals Council uh, put together reports on each case and make recommendations as to how the board should dispose of the cases that come before the board. The board is free to accept or reject or modify those recommendations. Additionally, the board has an Office of General Counsel, and that Office of General Counsel's responsibility is principally uh, to assist the board in any rulemaking functions it has, to provide some representation of the board before the United States Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit or in those few cases in district courts where the board gets sued, and to provide general legal advice to the board, which may include on occasion some advice with respect to particular cases. Paperwork in the board is organized by an organization called the Office of the Clerk, or better known as the Clerk, and the Clerk's Office is responsible for receiving files that come into the board, logging those files into their data processing system, establishing controls over the files so the cases that are represented by those files are adjudicated to the point of a final decision. Those are the principal operating components of the board. The front office, which is the board members themselves, the Office of Appeals Counsel, the Office of the Clerk, the Office of the General Counsel. There are a few other organizations within the board, but they aren't particularly important with respect to our understanding of the adjudication functions of the board. The real work of the board, although I don't seek to diminish the work that's done by the Office of Appeals Counsel and by the board members, but the daily toil on cases, the assembly of the records, the hearings, the disposition of motions, and the real point of contact between most individuals who have cases before the board or represent organizations or individuals with cases.